Hello, everybody. We're going to play The Pathless today. This game is a little funky to audio bounds, as they always are, but if this game is a little quiet or a little too loud at some point, just let me know, uh, as always. But I'm really eager to play this. It looks like a stunning game, absolutely pretty, just totally beautiful. Um, but I don't know too much about the game. I think it's like an open worldy kind of game. That's really all I know about it. I watched the trailer, uh, but it looks it looks like a game I'd really enjoy. So that's why we're playing it. Let's go ahead and start a new game. My autosaves will be deleted. Oh yeah, that's fine. Of course, of course. A dark curse shrouds the world. Legends say the curse spreads from the ancient isle on the edge of the world, where the realms of man and the realms of spirits intersect. Many have gone to the isle to stop the curse. None have returned. The darkness grows stronger. The last hunter makes the journey to reclaim the light that has been stolen from the world. Cool. Oh, I'm so excited to be starting a new game. I know we've been playing a lot of new games lately, but it always just makes me excited to pick up a brand new one. It's us. We're so cool. And... I have control! So for anyone curious, I am playing this on a controller. Oh! We got some parkour skills. Very lovely. Look at this. Don't know what's going on over there, but eager to find out. Let's go up here. What's that? Shoot, hold and release right trigger. Sick. I got some target practice. This seems like it. it is very auto-fire. Oh, that's cool. Gives us a little bit of run burst. It's a bird. Oh no. How can we help you, friend? I have Sauron. Okay, do we have to defeat it? I'll defeat it. I'll do whatever you need. suppose we're making our way over to to that so because we can't go over the bird yeah that would be rude uh interesting so i can't run right now if i okay so i require this energy in order to run but it doesn't like recharge on its own Who's this? I was gonna say someone important to us, but not more important than their, uh, headpiece. Oh, what does- th what did that do? <gasps> Talk. 
toggle and secrets secrets may appear I don't seem to have any kind of just regular attack. I also can't lock on to anything with my bow that isn't indicated. What do we got here? B? The spirit mask grants the wearer the ability to see the cracks in the world, to find paths where, the world, uh, where there would be none. But heed caution, those who wear the mask never see the world the same way again. All right. So, let me guess. This closed, I can't go through here. If I hold down that button, I can. Cool. Seems pretty straightforward. So, does this stay forever? Do I just, like, have this as long as this is full? And can I... My range is pretty good. All right, let's go to this tower first. That's where the game was telling us to go. This feels, this movement feels really fun. Especially if you time it well, trying to get across gaps and stuff. I can see it being really fun. Can we target this? We cannot. What's going on? B. The battle between Eagle Mother and God Slayer was the worst thing that my eyes have ever witnessed. If she has fallen, the worst has happened. Now, who will stand against the God Slayer? Oh, we'll drop off our Eagle Sigil. And we've conquered the Eye of Sauron. Excellent. Can I grab onto that and slide around? Because that would be fun. No, not quite. We'll go to the next bird tower. Oh, I missed. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo! So close. Almost too far. So you have to you have to make sure to hold it back all the way. If you don't hold it back, the trigger all the way. Oh, I need another bird seal. Oh, where do I get another bird seal? Where's our bird friend? Hmm, I'm actually, I am going to go across here. Is this our bird seal? What if I just land on it? If I go up, can I take it? That's not what I wanted. Oh, there it is. B. Yeah. There we go. Excellent. Makes sense that they wouldn't put like the first one that you find on your own to be too hard to get. Two down. Let's keep going around, huh? Ah, uh, okay. Kind of gets you a bit of a double jump. It's pretty fun. What's this?
Ah, contentment. I came as a pilgrim to seek guidance from the tall ones, but found all the answers I needed on this little isle. A path is only good so long as you walk it, and now I am content to just sit. Sit and can be content. And he died. Not a bad view. When they say the tallest, it immediately makes me think of Invader Zim. Let's see. Where are we going? There's one over this way. Is water bad? Is water just slow? Water's just slow. Water's not bad, per se. Seems like these things recharge pretty fast too, which is convenient. So if I ever get, like, stuck, I'm probably not actually stuck. Oh. Let's see, I see a lot of bird statues up here. Maybe there's gonna be a bird I can interact with? over here. Oh, another guy. I see the steel. Read the histories of my forefathers. This land was so beautiful, so peaceful, before the god slayers wrought. The eagle mother birthed this world, but she does not demand its direction. She rests in her nest high above. She will only descend to our realm in times of great happiness or great danger. So she was, like, in bad shape. So the danger must have gone quite poorly. I know I don't have another eagle sigil yet. So let's go over this way first. That looks like an eagle sigil to me. The God Slayer is no longer a man. If he ever was, he's something more and something less. Like the sound effect for the arrow. How do I do this? I can go in here. What's the deal? totally sure about this one. Let's see if there's anything else to interact with around. Maybe I'll get some kind of clue. Oh, I thought I saw a bubble.
Let's check this again. Oh, wait, what's that? Haha! -ha. There it is. Got him! And back over to the tower we go. It does feel kind of weird that you don't need to aim at all. <laughs> like, it's nice. It's nice. It just feels, like, very easy. And I'm sure once more mechanics get introduced, I'll be like, oh, it's a good thing this part's easy. Did we get them all? Oh, we're the best. We did it. Yay! We helped our bird! Hey, buddy, you're gonna be alright. Maybe. Oh god, maybe not. What does our bird friend need next? Is this where we were? Oh, that's just the... Oh, what's... what the heck? I get it. Well, but where's our bird friend? Where is our bird friend? Down here? Oh. There he is. Hey, bud. What can we do now? Oh, good. Okay. And this is the nest it was talking about. I thought it was be further up, like just elevation was, but Be gone, Hunter. This is no place for mortals. You. It was you who unleashed this darkness on the world. I came here to undo your evil. Oh. The tall ones themselves fear me. Who are you to stand in my way? I am the God Slayer. And I will make I will unmake this wretched world. Young one, listen closely. You must defeat the God Slayer. You must bring back the light. He has gone to the floating isle to become a dark god. But you cannot yet follow him there. You must first free my children from his curse. They were once gods of this world. They are now cursed beasts in thrall of the God Slayer.
cleanse their spirits, go to the floating isle. Go now, young one, ascend the tower and travel to the mainland. Bring back the light. I want, are they all gonna be birds? What do we got here? Oh! <gasps> Hi! I wanna pet the eagle. Please? Pet the eagle to restore its light, its strength. Oh my god. Alright, you should not pet a real bird like this, you guys. Just FYI, it is not good for them. <laughs> they, they, uh, do not, do not recommend. But it's very cute in the game. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Hold on. Something I said made my phone unlock. Never done that before. That's very strange. Okay. We've got a little eagle friend! Oh, we get to do this throughout the remainder of the game. I love it. <laughs> Alright, where are we going? Let's go up. Up is always a good bet, right? Oh, that's a rough fall. What are we going to name our eagle friend? So we can't go through there yet. Oh, we've got a box. I bet we can put that box on that lever. Oh my god, the eagle does it. Yes! Good bird. We didn't even have to lift a finger. Man, everybody's dead. That's the wrong button. Wrong button. Okay, so that didn't work. Oh, there's a there's actual just staircase right here. Oh, we got another box. We got a box puzzle. Ooh, can I fire through it with this? No. too fast. I wonder if we can get- ooh! We gotta use those other camera angles. Come on, bird.
Thanks, bud. Go get him. Do I have to come all the way down to tell you where to go? Probably, right? Go get him. There we go. Good bird. Yeah, that's what I like to see. I don't know, we're gonna need that one, right? Oh no, he's afraid. It's okay, it's just a box. It's just a box. Aw, oh, bud, it's just a box. It's gonna be okay. Night. Let's see if we can turn off the red lights for him. I know red lights are scary. Oh, what's that? Oh, we got a secret path? Just turn off the lights, and uh, and our bird won't be so freaked out. The feelings of our bird has to come first. This is very clear. I should make sure I'm using this uh, special viewing ability. Press A to jump and press A again while airborne to glide. Oh, oh, I love it. Oh my god, it's so cute. Only thing down there are paths to get back up. We didn't need it. Did it on the first try. as pie. Very cool. Okay. I'm noticing that none of these have little thought bubbles anymore. Yeah, that's gonna take us up. I don't have to hold this down. Oh, pretty. My god, what a pretty game. An achievement. The adventure begins. We did the tutorial! We did it! <gasps> We've got a new resource. You can flap while gliding. Collect more crystals to be able to flap additional times in the air. Press A to flap while gliding. Oh no. I ran out of flaps. 
Ah, okay. It feels a little strange, but it works. Oh, don't land in the water. What's up with this tower? Our next guy is a deer, I suspect. Whoa. What was that? Going. Where should I go? I guess we'll go there, right? Because I don't have a way to get up to those towers yet. So let's just try going up. Up, up, up. As the world burns and the land starves, I still find peace in my own thoughts in this meditation and garden. If I perish now, I perished in serenity. Everybody was so chill about dying. For generations we sought out peace in these gardens, so foolish. I have known peace and I have known chaos, only the, through chaos, glorious chaos, can true, impactful change be made? I am ready for the world the God Slayer will bring from this chaos. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. Like, I'm really curious what combat is actually going to be like once we get there. That's kind of what I'm preparing for, mentally, is I'm like, there's going to be some crazy-ass combat, but I don't know what it's going to look like yet. very cool. So I'm trying to get over here. Okay. Don't move. I don't think he can see me from where he's at, but just on the off chance. Better to be cautious, right? Don't move. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, that's 
creepy. So creepy. Hey, man. Don't step on me. I need you to look in a different direction. Yikes. Was that death count one? That might have been death count one. Oh, I have to revive my eagle. Oh, shit. Hold on. Also, I... Let me... Let me... Pull up my stream manager. Okay. Okay. I was getting a weird alert on my phone. Okay. Oh. Eagle... Oh, no! I'm so sorry, bud. Oh, poor thing. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. That'll buff out. Good boy. Feel better? Thanks, bud. I'm trying to work out where I was. Because this all looks new. How far away am I? Can I do anything with these? This kind of looks like a a future thing that I can't do yet. Because these are all closed. I think it has to go through all of them, but I have to be standing on that higher platform to be able to do it. So let's just get back over to where we were. I see. This set us back somewhat far, but not too, too far. Taking a better path, maybe. Up we go. Did I get lost? I think I went past it. I got so caught up in the movement that I got lost. What's up with this? Okay, it doesn't want us to do anything else until we finish this part. Did I, what happened to our eagle? Our eagle just gets fried. Don't 
Don't look this way. I think we need to be a little bit quicker this time. Man, he just, he always marches right towards you, huh? Just fade away. Let's go over the rock. What's right here that we need so bad? Oh, it's our eagle. What? Were we successful? I am unsure. I'm unsure if what we did worked. just do and why did we do it? That is the question. Because we didn't unlock this. We only stood on one side and then we got... taken into that area. What happens if we do it again? Anything happen? Is there a, what's this over here? Is there something that we can pick up? There sure is. Oh, but we don't have our bird friend to help us fly. Um, okay. It floats, though. So maybe we can, like... Oh, no. Okay, don't do that. Don't do that. You can put it back down. Sorry. Don't listen to me. Don't, miss don't listen to me, bird. We were, like, almost right. There we go. bird? <laughs> he went around. We did it. We got it. Nice. So let's see. Where's the closest tower? That one, definitely. But man, how do you get up there? We could go scope it out. Or we could go to the next big area. I feel like scoping this out makes more sense, right? Up, up. All right, 
right, let's see. Is there something in here that'll carry me up? No. What's going on in here? Anything? love to get up there. Nothing in here either. Odd. Okay. Well, let's make our way over to the next deer spot. Oh wait, oh wait, shit. Hold up, hold up. How far will this take me? If it takes me the whole way, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> nice. Alright. Drop off our deer sigil. Heck yeah. Oh, we're so high up. I don't think we're supposed to go... Well, I don't know if there's a right or a wrong way. We just have to get in there, right? I'm sorry, bird. This is a really bad spawn point. Yeah, that was a rough spawn. That was a rough spawn. Okay. I don't think that was the right strategy. Alright, bird. Come here. Very sorry. Did not mean to put you through that again. Just give you a little, little rub down. Aw, oh, Achievement Unlocked, Eagle's Companion. get our bird. I like... Oh, there he is. I couldn't tell where he was. I don't think he can see me from here, though. Luckily. He has a bad vantage point. Keep walking. <gasps> look away, look away! Got him! Good bird. Come here. Your reward is pets. Good bird. Oh, what a good bird! Oh, 
game's awesome. <laughs> I'm not gonna get tired of that. Uh, okay, so we we do still need to find the next like uh, I don't know what to call it. Uh, our next eagle sigil shrine. That looks promising, right? It seems like we have to clear each area where there's gonna be our next sigil. Once that's cleared, we can solve the puzzle to actually fix the tower. I'm- that's- that's- that's what I think is happening. Let's go. Up we go. Where did that little ball of light go? There it is. Oh, I'm out of running power. Come on. Bird, carry me. Oh no, can I get there without any star power? That's enough. Okay. So what's up with the fire? Lower me down gently. Oh, too high. What can we do with this? Huh. I get that the fire's important somehow. Let's look around a bit more. make it up there. Whatever we need is gonna be close. I know that much. Oh, there's another one over there. not the same one, right? Because I don't think we lost any progress. going on up here. Ooh, see, this is what I was noticing earlier. Oh, no, put me down, put me down. So if I stand right here... Aha! Got him! We can now do some of these other ones. I still want to figure out this one. What's that? Hmm. Oh, we got extra bird energy. I'm not totally sure what to do with it, but we got it. I guess we'll also unlock this tower since we're right here. Keep 
going. Keep marching upward. Oh, almost didn't make it. I see our little lever. Let's go. Let's go. Up, up, and away. So one thing that I've been thinking about is now that like the year is coming to a close, how many games I've played this year. Because now that I've been streaming, I've been keeping a more detailed list of all the games that I've been playing and everything I've streamed. And I haven't, like, ranked them or ordered them in any way. But it has been something I've been thinking about. So I still can't do that center one yet. Oh, there's one over here, too. There's a lot of these, huh? That one looks more interesting to me. Let's just see if we can reach it. Yeah, we sure can. I was merely crossing the bridge when the God Slayer's terrible wrath came through. Such power, such virulent evil. He's as, uh, as sudden as he is inevitable. This is an easy one. Just gotta hit the lever. At these shrines, we may give offerings to great Cernos. In the morning, we offer ablutions in the east, and in the evening, we give thanks in the west. Sorry if I'm butchering any of those words. I guess we go back to that tower, huh? Because now we have the next sigil. It feels a little strange that we're getting more... finding more sigils than towers. I wonder what that's about. checking before we go all the way over there. to be averages on this game also because if it's just defeating the four beasts and unlocking their towers and then the final boss I might be able to finish it tonight we'll see it might be there might be more to the game as well hard to guess
If it's time-based, then we're probably in bad luck. Next sigil down. Next tower down. Oh, yeah. We brought light back to the obelisk. venture into the heart of the curse and cleanse my child, my cursed child, Cernos, within. Maybe we were never supposed to have gone up against the deer until now. Maybe we were just supposed to avoid those big red blurbs. Down there, nestled in the trees, I can still see the prison where they freed the Pathfinder. So much blood was spilled that day. I hope for his followers' sake that the one true path is worth the sacrifice. All right, let's get in there. but not too close. Got it. Or jump, maybe? It seems we don't have to worry about water as much, which is convenient. Okay, so confirmed. Yeah, just jump. bad. Oh no. Oh shit. I think we made him mad. health bar, which is a little bit tricky. Yeah. I was doing so well. Oh, 
can't see anything. Oh, that was not my fault. Two, got it. I'm not sure how we recharge. charge at me, that's rude. Thought for sure that tail was gonna hit me. I'm pretty sure we only got like one more. Don't touch the edges. Got it. Oh, what the heck? With only one attack button, at least it's not too complicated. You know what I mean? is going to have a lot of reviving to do after this. No! I'm sorry. Got him. Oh. What's that? I feel a little bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Be cured. Be freed. Are we gonna get up to ride a deer now? Like we saved the eagle, so we got an eagle. Do we save the deer? Do we get to ride a deer? Ah. 
so much cuter now. Aw, friends. Ooh, new arrows? Next we've got, oh, is that a bull? Or a lizard? Or no, that was the deer. So next we've got... But your work is not yet done. Continue the next plateau and cleanse the curse there. of Cernos. The spirit meter is now longer. Ah, sick. You can flap additional time in the air! I do love when a game rewards you um, with additional movement. That always feels very satisfying. So we never figured this out. But it's still here. I'm not sure what the deal is with it. I get that that's where I have to go. I don't know how to get this one, but I guess it doesn't matter. The completionist in me is, like, upset, but maybe it's something I can circle back to later, or if I play the game again. Right, we got a little ways to go. I know we don't need to get, like, every single one of those, but it's very satisfying. Up we go! Yes, this bridge is familiar. Well, I guess the upside is that, like, no matter if your your uh, energy is full or not, whenever you hit those, you like vault ahead, so it saves you time. Oh, I don't know. Do we have to, to heal our bird? Our bird looks good. Bird's happy. We're good. Whoa. Who we got next? Who's going up against this next? From fourth sorrow, burn my enemies. Who are you? Oh my god, are you a giraffe? 
It's a hammerhead giraffe dinosaur. I've been enjoying the music in this a lot too. It's it's like kind of subtle, like I don't think about it very much, but whenever I notice it, I like it. I think it's supposed to be a dinosaur, by the way. Oh, tall ones, don't let his followers find me here. Aw, they found you, bud. Something up there. There's a thing in here. Oh. Bird power! Bird power that I don't use. Sick. I gotta figure this out. So that is not a lever. Okay, so we got a new guy to avoid. And maybe these are inevitable. Maybe we do have to interact with some of these. I didn't know if it was just if you went somewhere you're not supposed to. I'm coming for you, bird. protect you. Oh no. Whenever the controller shakes, I'm like, we're dead. We're dead. Stay out of his circle. Of knowledge. Get him, get him, get him! Got the bird, got the bird! Woo. Bird has been rescued. Brush off all that bad juju, the bad vibes. go. Is that everything? You good? Are you pleased? There you go. Pleased. Good bird. So can we take this now? What's the deal? Like we... What am I missing? I see that glowy thing up there, but we can't really interact with it. Maybe some of these are just like meant to lead us astray. Like, they don't actually do anything. Maybe we'll be able to get up to this one. Not sure where it's going yet, but the bird has it. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, bud, just keep carrying that around. Just hold on to it for me for just a minute. Yeah, you can put it right there. That's fine. Okay, so we get up here. Ah, I see another one of those. And that's where we gotta put the thing. So, can we reach this from here? We sure can. Now we'll just stand back here, we'll line them up. Excellent. We don't even have to go back over there, do we? Don't think so. We got a tower right there. Can't make it. Come on. Recharge. Up. Up. One of two. Interesting. Okay. I think that's the one we were having trouble with. Let's go to this one. Oh, that went way too far. bird points. Again, that we don't know what to do with, but we got them. Let's see if we'll make this. I think we will. Oh, yeah. No question. Alright, so these have to be lit, I guess. But I have no clue how to do that. Like aim through these. We just hit them or we don't hit them. What's that? <laughs> what? Oh. Okay, so we have to get these positioned correctly so that the mirrors will hit them both. So, we want this one to be all the way at the end, right? But they don't go that far. Can these rotate at all? Arco! 
hello. Yeah, so that list there is, um, it's pretty self-explanatory, but it's a list of every game that I have played, attempted, completed, um, all of the above. It's as complete of a list as I could make. Um, I've also added the year, and if it's highlight, highlight in blue, I played it on stream. Hey, Pyro. Welcome in. So, I don't know. I wanted to, like... I wanted to try to keep better track of everything that I've been doing. This is so weird. This is such a weird puzzle. Um... And I'm not entirely sure how to do it. So, like... <laughs> trick shot. I just got an achievement for that. This seems like... What I'm supposed to do, right? But I'm not sure why. I haven't quite worked out why. I... I get the impression that, like, both of these need to be lit. Gone home easily most controversial opinion. Yeah, I... yeah. So, the reason why I didn't love it is just because I don't think it aged well in comparison to other modern media at the time that I played it. So that's the thing, right? I didn't play it when it came out. So, when I played it for the first time this year, I'm sure it was great as a narrative game at its time when it was like the first game to do something like that, but compared to all the stories that we have now... Eh. But, I still think it was a good game. I don't even remember what score I gave it. I probably gave it like a, a 7. Maybe 6.5. Yeah, seven. Yeah, I, I still stand by that. I still think that that was the right, right move. Man, maybe I'll have to circle back to this one too. I haven't worked this out yet. Did you have any favorite games or accomplishments from this year? Since, I don't know, we're getting to the end of the year, so it's like... That's what everybody's talking about. Twin Mirror got trashed. Yeah, the, so Twin Mirror... Um, I remember thinking it was, like, borderline offensive. <laughs> yeah, I, I gave that, like, probably the worst score that I've given any game. I, I hated it. Um, okay, so I really want to work this out. Um, this, I cannot move. This cannot be moved at all. Um, I don't think that I can hit the two of these together. That's also interesting. If I'm standing here, it doesn't particularly well go straight out to hit one of these guys. So why are these here? Like, I can do that. But that doesn't do anything for me either. I don't know. I don't know. 
let's get up. Let's go up. Let's check this out down here. Let's see if, if we get anything with this. But Pyro, how are you doing? going on in here. I have a feeling that this is going to trigger another dude. Maybe? Or maybe not. So we've got more of these more of these fire things, but what do we do with them? We've got... Got some more bird points. What is the deal? The game has been very, very straightforward up until this point. Pretty good, enjoying your vacation. Partner bought a bread machine and we have the first loaf today. Oh my God, that sounds amazing. My partner's sister makes sourdough. Oh, we got a secret room. But just has bird points. Man. I need a better hint as to what to do. Bread machines are dangerous because you never stop eating bread. I didn't even know that there were bread machines and now I, I want one. And I eat so much sourdough. It's just it's just so good. Like, do you ever open a fresh loaf of bread and you grab a piece of toast or, or a piece of bread to make toast and you just like smell it first? Just just take it in. It's like my favorite part of getting a new loaf of bread. Forest plateau. Did we did we do something productive? Feel like we were here the whole time. What do we got here? These infernal rains are not clean. They never stop. Just keep pounding down. It feels impossible to defeat the God Slayer in this weather. It feels impossible to do anything. Separate from the curse and the God Slayer's uh, de devilry? De devilry, there it is. Uh, is how grim this cloud makes everything. It is hard to go on the face of such drudge drudgery. Dave! Dave, thank you so much for the raid! Pyro, thanks for getting that shout out for Dave. How was the rest of your stream? Oh, you did, you made it to Wondersong. How'd it go? It's hard to fa uh, hard to go on in the face of such drudgery. It is hard to make camp and harder to wake up. I tried to do a new raid command and it didn't work. I'm gonna have to fix it later. I almost forgot you're a mod here. <laughs> no worries, no worries. I like, I mod for so many channels, but very few do I consider myself like an active mod for. There was like a handful that I was made a mod and I'm like happy to, to mod when I'm there, but I, I don't go 
Uh, I, I don't have much of a role myself. <laughs> Not my bird! We're so close to being done with Water Song, but, it, uh, but it's super lovely and cute. I'll be sad to finish it. Oh, I feel that. I'm glad you're enjoying it, though. Did you finish Serious Sam? Because that it looked like it was coming to a close, maybe. Alright, we have to save our bird. I'm coming, bird. Need three more levels. Oh, no. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Oh, don't move, don't move. How's this game? This game is really cool. Um, I am enjoying it a lot. I, I'm starting to get just like the tiniest bit confused. Uh, but I think I just had a little bit of bad luck. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you in a moment, but basically it's very Breath of the Wild-y in the sense that it's an open world um, area and there's a darkness that's taken over and you have to purge the darkness. Uh, and we have a pet eagle and when he gets damaged, we just, we give him some pets and then he's all better. He's such a good bird. Look at this good bird. It's so cute. Although it drives me like a little bit nuts that you don't, if you have a pet bird, you don't want to pet it like that. <laughs> because they just, it, it's like, uh, you only want to pet them like on their, their head and neck. They don't respond super well to like belly and under the wing rubs because like only they would only do that with like other birds and other mates and so they start to get like weirdly territorial and aggressive if you do it too much so every time we have to like cleanse this bird from darkness I'm like oh don't mind me uh, sorry excuse me Yeah, it's, it's a weird parrot fact that I know. So, where are we? And where do we need to go? That looks like where we should go. Oh, right, that's this area again. Hmm. Maybe something will be different now. So, Dave, I was thinking a little bit what is like your favorite game that you played this year if you have one if you have any ideas because i've started to brainstorm about that man what is the goal here we can we can hit this and it'll bounce back. And it, it's pretty close to hitting that other one. Splunky abandoned. I know, I never finished it. I know. Maybe I'll go back one day, but... I played a good chunk of Splunky, too. It was just very hard for me. Trying to think. But yeah, if you want to take a look, anybody in chat want to take a look at the games that I played this year, uh, exclamation point list will pull up my master spreadsheet of all the games that I've played and all the games that I uh, started playing and never finished or so on and so forth. It Takes Two is probably yours, that or Metopia, and maybe Streaming Kingdom Hearts. Gotcha. Nice. Yeah, It Takes Two looked awesome. Okay, what is the deal with this mirror? 
I can't turn it. There's gotta be some way that I can adjust this, right? Bird, take me up. go back to that this one down here I think that's the same one that I was struggling with earlier Ugh. <laughs> lolling and amnesia getting abandoned yeah I got like halfway or three quarters of the way with amnesia back when I was in college so some of those are very long time ago that I played them uh, Dishonored just never really grabbed me. And Half-Life 2, I think it was just, like, too long. Because when did I play that? I played that when I was in high school. Um, and I played it after playing a lot of other, like, games that were kind of like it, you know? Because uh, that was another case where it was the first of its kind, right? Um... And so it was it was a good game. And I can see why everybody loves it. I just don't have the same nostalgia for it. How do I get How do I get this? Sir. But that's not to say I wouldn't go back to it. That has been a reason why I've been hesitant to play things like the original BioShock though, cuz I'm like I don't know if I'll I don't know if I'll think it aged well enough, you know? Alright, game, I need a hint. one, but we need two for the next area. Let me... I've been trying to think of what my favorite game that I played this year was, also. And it is hard to pick. Like, I loved Hyper Light Drifter. That was an awesome game to stream. Uh, Soma is actually up there. I really liked playing Soma, as, like, horrible as it was as an experience. <laughs> uh, it was actually really fun to stream. Um, you know what? Let's just go up. Let's just go up and see what happens. Oh yeah, Twin Mirror, definitely my favorite, Twin Mirror. God. We're just gonna introduce, you know, the concept of police brutality and then not have any social critique on it at all. It's just there as a plot device. You know what? We'll just have the person of color, the side character, sacrifice themselves to save the white man. That will go over really well. I, like, I don't feel like I'm supposed to go in here, but I don't know where else to go. Bird, no! It's fine. It's fine. Oh, bad spawn. Bad spawn. Oh. I'm coming for you, bird.
this. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Oh no, I lost all my bird points. I dropped all my bird points. Bird points. Okay. All right. It's fine. Everything's fine. All right, bird. We're gonna we're gonna get pet. Get pet. Come on. Oh, oh, wrong, wrong, wrong controller. There we go. Good bird. Yeah, it's okay. You did your best. This area is like cleared now, so I can go up here. Let's try going up. Maybe I'll be able to unlock one of these with just one dinosaur sigil. Also, let me know if the volume is weird. Um, nope, we still need two for this one. Okay. So there's one way over there. I think I get it now. I think I understand how this area works. Dave, you gotta take off? Getting late? Yeah, take- have a good night. There we go. Have a good night. Thanks for streaming earlier. Thanks for the raid. I will catch you around. Take it easy. We'll see you, uh, next time you're streaming is after the new year, right? So I think whenever we go into the cloud, it just moves is what I'm realizing. So now we can go to some of the areas that were, like, hidden before, maybe? That's my guess, but I want to come back over here, because I think this was the very first area that we tried to go to, and then maybe we'll try to get that one also. Because I remember there were some that I didn't quite get in the last area. Come on, bird. Pick me up. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, this one also has, like, weird fire. Yeah, so, okay. It worked! It worked! Oh, heck yeah! Okay, we did something! We did something and it worked! I don't know why this didn't work at, like, any of the other ones. I think it was just blocked, I guess. So... If I'm lucky... Yes! Uh, thank you! Oh my god, that was so hard! <laughs> That was so hard to figure out, at least in that other area. I was like, I'm shooting the fire thing and it's not lighting anything. I'm like, what are they what are they trying to get me to do? Okay, alright, we got there, we got there. Doesn't matter how long it takes you to solve a puzzle, as long as you don't give up, right? Oh, I'm not gonna, not gonna make it up. Okay, let's go over to this one. We'll get this, uh, get this tower, and then we'll get the thing right next to it. Up, up, and away! Lizard sigils. There we go. One down. All right, let's go down to this guy. 
Ooh, an ice biome next. I wonder if it's going to be like a bear. Oh, we got more fire. Okay. But this time we can work it out. See here, this makes sense, right? That makes sense. The other one just didn't make sense. It wasn't obvious. This one, like, you hit it and it almost just goes exactly where you want it to. Maybe. Come on. You gotta step back further. one time. Is there a different one we're supposed to hit? No, I mean, that seems like the one that we're supposed to hit it with. Like, that seems so close. It's like sometimes not hitting and other times it is. Okay. Oh, this is not a torch. Well, that's one problem. Christ. Okay. Let's try again. With our new... There we go. It's like the game is so good about auto firing that like you never have to aim that it's weird when there's suddenly a situation where you do have to aim you know all right all right there it is give it to me give it to me all right i see more things to interact with this way That's not good enough. So we have to hit two. I see. No, not, not the red guy. There we can hit two. Maybe if we do it from this direction? Nope. What's this over here? This looks important, right? Oh, does this move? Here we go. Easy, easy, easy. All right, you come back. Perfect. Oh, I see. All right, no, nope. let go bird. Bird, come here. We gotta go all the way to the end.
pretty forgiving. Once you figure it out, once you get, know what to do, the game is super forgiving on how to actually get there. We got more bird points! I have no idea what to do with these. <laughs> I hope that we just, like, get super bird powers when we get enough of them. I, I remember it saying something about, like, increased flaps, but I don't think... Maybe we get an extra... extra... air... more time... Air, more air time. There we go. There's one up there. Oh, that will not make it. Oh, so close. Is this one just too high? This one might be too tall. Let's see, is there another way up? There's something else over there. Oh, that's just the border. get up this way. Maybe that's like the next area and we can't get there yet. I like this like cello music. were. Oh, there's something. The game's like, I gave you laser vision and you're not using it. <laughs> Come on, game. Or, player. We gave you the answer. Alright, how do I get up there? but instead floated higher, higher, higher. Does he bring the cloud lower or does it emulate from, uh, emanate from him? Such power innates from him, from his cloud, and the light lightning comes ever closer. Em emanates? Emanates. That's fine. There it is. Up we go. So this is where the God Slayer's curse was laid. Even now I feel its power so potent. one. 
right, so we've got... I think this is the second tower, right? There's one back there. We'll do this one next. This one makes the most sense, right? It's funny, this feels like Breath of the Wild if it didn't have side quests. So we're just only doing the Divine Beasts. <laughs> I'm gonna be making that comparison a lot, I think. I don't know if it's like, it's probably just the visuals that really give it that impression, but also just like the big monsters. Like the actual fights of the Divine Beasts make sense, but the rest of it, the rest of the game doesn't quite. Up there on the ridge, I can see the fortress where Sorrow's followers made their last stand against the Pathfinder's forces. The Pathfinder sliced through those monks as though they were made of paper. There may be no stopping his sacrilegious quest now. Not if I have anything to say about it. My bird is gonna wreck this guy. Alright, let's go down to this one. Hopefully it's not too close to this guy. So this we can't open because this gate is in the way. So we need something that the bird can lower on to there. Keep the gate open. Shouldn't be too hard to find, right? There it is. Found it. Get it, bird. Oh, whoops. I'm glad I don't take fall damage in this game. Come here. Come on, bird. Don't get stuck on the environment. Come on. Come on, bird. Let's try that again. What? Oh, bird, you quit too early. You can get it, right? Come on. There you go. He just got stuck on the corner. go <laughs> and drop it good bird got him excellent okay so now we just need one more I can't actually see from here, but we'll make our way over to the tower that I know we've got to unlock. Hopefully 
we'll just spot those towers that we were at earlier. Because now that we know about the fire a bit more, maybe I'll have better luck setting it up. Is it over by the lizard heads? No, I don't think so. Is, is this it? Did we just lock into it? No, this is something else. They do not fight like men. Men should not move that fast, that violently. They fight with their fear, fur, fur and the utterly, um, the fear of the utterly convicted convinced fury of the utterly convinced oh my god i'm sorry for their sakes and perhaps even ours i hope they're right i knew i would not survive this night but it was necessary to destroy my art or was it necessary to destroy my art the pots and the vases i lovingly shaped what cruelty asks that you destroy a man's work when you take his life ah poor guy We got another fire redirection one. Okay. So the first thing we need to get is that door open. Bird, take me up. And we got a lever here. I am so convinced that that did the trick. What did it do? We still need to get... The door open, do we? Look at these pots. These are some big pots. I, I can, we can't even use the ladder. Alright, nothing in here for us. I didn't mean to fall. That's all right. So what did this do exactly? Oh. Oh, okay. Where do I stand to make that work? Okay, okay. Oh, God. Up. Up. Alright, so this goes further down. And now that gate's open from the wrong side, but it is something. It's actually all we need. And now we can instruct Bird. Bird, go here. Please. Thank you. I like that the bird picking me up after dropping something is like instantaneous. Like there's no delay, it just like bird just teleports. Which like I it it doesn't like look as good on the screen, but it feels better to play, so it is therefore smarter. 
Ooh, okay. I didn't expect that. Go get it. Maybe this will, like, change the way that this gate's set up somehow. One more time. Back up to the top. Oh no, okay. Up. 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 Huzzah! We did it! Heck yeah! We got him. So I know that when we go to the last temple, it's going to start the next boss fight, which is fine, but I'm still, like, annoyed that we didn't figure out that first little area. So I'm tempted to go back first. Is that silly? Also, thank you, Pyro. Hydrate. I can hydrate. Tuka, welcome in. How are you doing? Ah, oh, thank you for the hydrate. I was getting a little parched there. Here it is. Okay, perfect. Glad we didn't have to go very far. I just really want to figure this one out because I felt so stupid that I couldn't. <laughs> Been lurking. The game looks neat. Well, thank you for lurking. Uh, it does look neat, doesn't it? You get a bird friend. I know. Ready? 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 Who's a good bird? Who's a good bird? You're a good bird. Look at you. That is such a good bird. I love the, the animation going on the wings. Like, it's just so cute. Yeah. What a good bird. <laughs> it, it's very satisfying to me. Right? It's, it's like, so smooth. Like, it looks really good. You can tell, like, that animator is proud of what they did. Um, as they should be, for the record. Okay, so I have a better understanding of how these work now. We want... Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Hey, that did... That did something. That did something. We lit this one. Okay. So, let's move this all the way over. Your bird would be pissed if you tried that. Okay, so I, I said this earlier. But a, a fun parrot fact is, like, you don't ever want to pet a parrot like that because only they only do that with their mates and other birds. So when you do it, you're telling the bird, I am a bird and I'm your mate. And they're like, no, you're fucking not. <laughs> or worse, they're like, yes, you are. And then they get really aggressive when things don't go the way they want. So, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. You know. You know. But uh, not everybody in the chat might know. But, yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. So, that's why I'm telling this story again. Because I, well, the first time I saw that, I was like, oh. <laughs> Fun bird facts. If that's not what my stream's about, I don't know what my stream is for. I'm so glad that I figured this out. Bird fact re point redemption incoming. That's smart. I should do that. Why haven't I done that? What was I thinking? I would totally do that. See, okay, I have... I don't know if I want to, like, fully get up to get this thing. I have this game. I have a wallet game that I keep in my wallet. It's just one card. It's it's a, you know, it's a game. Um, a game. But it's called Birds Are Amazing. And it's, um, I'm, you know, f fuck it. I'm just gonna go get it. Hold on. Intermission. We've got, we've got a bird game. All right. All 
All right, I got it. I got it. This is the game. Birds are amazing. I'm put my headphones back on. All right. On the back, it has some actual bird names. You can see it says at the top, actual birds. And then this is the whole game here. It's very short, you know, there's not a lot to it, but I'm gonna read it for you. All right, beginning the game. Birds are amazing, begins when you see a bird and can identify it by name. Point the bird out to your friends and say, look, a this type of bird. The game has now begun. Playing the game. Share a fact about the bird with your friends. Birds are Amazing is about impressing your friends with your most stoic bird knowledge, so avoid using well-known facts like swans were historically used as lie detectors throughout medieval Europe, and 30% of owls are actually humans enchanted by wizards, or the eagle is the fifth least important member of the gull family. Bird facts must be factual, though they need not be true. The best bird fact cannot be found in any book, but lie hidden in the deep recesses of the human heart. Once you've shared a fact, a friend will feel compelled to tell you a bird fact of their own. They may choose to share a fact about a different type of bird altogether. Welcome this. Every bird is amazing. Ending the game. Once begun, a game of birds are amazing never ends. That is the game. So I think it's decided. I will have that be a, a, a channel point redemption. And we will get some, some bird facts that will always be factual, though they need not be true. I, I love whipping that out when I'm like hanging out with friends or, or people that, that I haven't shared that with already. Um, because then you can just be like walk taking taking a walk like through a park or whatever and be like oh look a robin did you know that all robins are female every single one uh they actually weeded out all the males uh to create a superior species um it's just it's just one of my favorite things Oh, what? We didn't even get the thing. We solved the puzzle, but it wouldn't let me to- Oh, no, I did get the thing. I have three now. Sick, we did it. We did the puzzle. All right. I could have two different bird redemptions. One could be factual bird facts, and one would be factual or non-factual. Or, uh true true bird facts or non-true bird facts potentially non-true bird facts up 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 how are your birds doing tuka are they chilling doing bird things Harvey was having a little nightmare earlier. He was like laying on my bed and just started like like chirping and like moving around and stuff. And so I went over to like pet him to wake him up and I like put my hand like over his his head and ear and he just started like wildly flicking his ear. <laughs> he like didn't wake up just started aggressively flicking his ear like get get off me get it off me I'm like harvey it's okay bud harvey it's fine you're you're gonna be okay they're doing swell yours <laughs> still being bjord good bird Birds be birds. The obelisks are lit. They point you in direction. Oh, slow to read it. Oh, let's do it. Boss fight. Boss fight. They're getting along really well now. They always hang out in the um, in one cage together during the day. That's really sweet.
All right, let's go wake up this dinosaur. Let's remind him to chill out, that he's okay. He doesn't have to be angry all the time. Uh, one of my dreams is that Harvey and Ellie will get along one day and just become best friends, best cat friends, because right now they just kind of like both exist despite each other, you know? Like sometimes they'll play, but it's always like kind of aggressive play fighting, but not actual fighting. Um, and I just, I just want them to be best friends, you know? I like the way it runs. Oh, how'd that miss? There we go. Uh, just open up the cages and give them free range for the day. Uh, they usually put themselves to bed. It's so very easy. Want to live in a Dan Disney fantasy world with all your animals? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's really nice, too, because I remember, like, when I had parents, uh, when I was a kid, they, like, couldn't really be unsupervised. They would just get into stuff, you know? So if we had them out, they would just have to be with us, which was fine. You know, I was, I was a kid, so, like, I was home all the time anyways. It wasn't like, uh, now when I'd be working and can't keep a super close eye on them all the time. But yeah, that's always like ideal circumstances when you can just let them out, let them do their own thing. They'll come out if they want to. If they're not in the mood, they'll stay in their safe space. Ugh, whoops. getting worse. Maybe maybe the dinosaur is not faster. I'm just getting worse at keeping up with these guys. This guy def definitely has more projectiles than the last one, though. The last one, you just had to keep up with him. This guy, you have to, like, be pretty high up. You can't just stay in the air because he goes uphill fairly regularly. Fuck! No! I thought I was over that one. Alright, alright, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let's, uh, go this way. Let's try to cut him off. Oh, 
down and I didn't even see. Bird, I need you to distract this guy. We're getting closer, we're getting closer. Jump, good. It's fine, it's okay if we get hit, if we get closer. There it is. There we go. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, there's a lot going on. This one's like, these are like the desert. Uh, I wonder if I get close enough to those fireballs if, as they're going up, if I'd be able to hit them with my arrow. I don't think so. Uh, I don't, I don't think so. I haven't seen that indicator even once. taken a ton of damage, but I haven't died. Getting closer, getting closer. We got him, we got him. like saying that on stream like about cats i'm like oh it's a good cat good kitty when i'm playing a cat based game if hardy is in the next room like oh my god am i getting a treat turning away from me. Alright, phase one, easy. You didn't. That is not a bad guess. 
Okay, alright. Can't stand there either. Can I... Can I go out? Can I just go out through the hole in the wall? Why not? Uh, do I stand here? Oh, okay. I just have to stand on the the one safe spot. up how long this game is because like I feel like I'm flying through it but I'm like I'm really enjoying it so like I don't mind that I should I should pull this up on how long to be once we finish this boss because if it's only five hours I'll probably finish it tonight but if it's longer then I won't look at this guy he's so mad the fuck? But yeah, this is a, a funny... I don't know if it's a... No, just funny observation. Um... They haven't been totally overdoing it on the eagle noises. They've, they, they're here and there, but they're not all the time. <laughs> Which is good, because it would get irritating, I think. It's like, here and there, when the bird does something, like, particularly exciting, it makes the eagle cry. Yeah. Yeah, totally. It is good. Or Tigu? Something? Komodo? Yeah, oh yeah, it's totally Komodo Dragon. I mean, that makes, that, yeah, that makes sense.
progress. A a Komodo Pog. And we got color in the trees now. All right, how long? What's going on here? My child is no longer captive to the darkness. His light spreads all through his land. You've done well. Now cleanse the plateau. Bring back this land. Pathless is about six hours in length. Okay. You're gonna lurk while you play some games? Hell yeah. Well, thanks for lurking and thanks for chatting. Have a good night. Great bird talk today. I hope that you play this game with your friends. <laughs> I should post a, a picture of it in the Discord or a link to the 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 writer for it or something. Cause it's I don't more people should make up fun facts about birds. Strength of Sorrow. Powerful talisman will now appear throughout the land. All right. You can flap an additional time in the air. Flap. 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 Danny. Danny, thank you so much for the raid. Do we have a mod in chat? I don't know if we have a mod in chat. I will shout you out myself if we do not. I don't believe so. Hold, hold up. I got you. I got you. Shout out. Playing more Minecraft? Hell yeah. How'd it go today? <laughs> Silly shout out we can do. Hey, you know what? It counts, Tuka. It counts. New Birdlandia, welcome in. We are talking all about birds today. You are in the right place. <gasps> are these like, what? What are the, what do the yellow talisman things do? <gasps> They're extra speed. You love birds. You know what? We love birds. We just, I just, I, I won't read through the whole card again. But I have this game. It's called Birds Are Amazing, and it is the it. The TLDR, when you see a bird, you identify the bird by name, and then you share a fact about the bird. It doesn't need to be a true fact. It just has to be a fact that will inspire others to also share real or made-up bird facts. Uh, it's, it's very fun. <laughs> but um, all my emotes are birds. I, I'm a big parrot lover. We've got some other... Uh, folks in chat who also enjoy birds. In this game, you get to pet a bird. Um, as such, this is our eagle friend. We can give him some good little pats. I went okay, you messed up your farm and now you're trying to fix it off camera. Oh no, that's the worst when you're like, I have to, I have to fix this. I have to correct. I have to correct what I've just done. Uh... And, and you don't want to do it on stream because you know it's just going to be time consuming. I totally feel you. I do that with Stardew a lot. Uh, I'm like, oh, I have to replant my whole farm. You know what? We'll just do it off stream. That's fine. Thank you so much for that follow. Really appreciate it. I didn't know you could pet the bird 10 out of 10, right? It's so good. It's, it's just so good. All right, we have to get up here. Let's see. Uh, okay. I've exhausted my bird. Don't want people to witness your clumsy mess. All right, just watch like 30 seconds of my Stardew streams. Like I, it's funny, I played Stardew for the, what's up bird? Bird, what's going on? Why is my bird alarmed? Why is my bird upset? What happened? Bird? Oh, he, di he didn't like it up there. You, you good? No, he's good. 
he just didn't, he was not happy. Oh, I see. There's a big ghost cloud up there. All right. We'll avoid that for the time being. We still have to get up there, though. But yeah, I started a, my very first time playing Stardew Valley on stream. And after three or four streams of it, I completely abandoned the farm, started a whole new one off stream, and then just started streaming that one instead. All right, let's see. I like, I don't want to go back in there and upset me. Oh, it's because of, I see. It's because of these, um, these owl bros. Our bird does not like these guys. But I think we can get around well enough. Oh, missed it. Ah, uh, damn it. We could not. We could not. Almost went to do that with your sky block world. You've built built it too much. Yeah. I get yeah. That's that's the the drawback, right? Is that you end up having to do a lot of work off stream. Um Matt, how do we get this? We might have to come back. I I, I dislike my bird being in such distress. We'll come back around. We'll come back around. Oh, I was going to say something, and I just remembered what it was. I was, like, trailing off there. Um, a while back, Danny, I asked you about um, a nail... Um, a nail base that would stop my nails from peeling, and you recommended one that I, I ended up picking it up, and it it really helped. It helped a lot. It um, sometimes I'll I'll just wear the base without any color just to like protect my nails, and it's made a big difference. Oh no, he will not even even glide into that area. Okay. Yeah, the orly one. Oh. Wait, no, but I I totally Maybe I went the wrong way. Did I go up this thing in the center? I could have sworn that I did, but maybe I didn't. Maybe we should go back. We'll just go back. You like it? Yeah, it, it works pretty well for me. I think that the issue I run into now is that I've started rock climbing. And I love rock climbing. It's that it's really, really fun and like forever changed my workout routine. However, the chalk dries out my nails like nobody's business. Um It's like uh, been really damaging to my skin. So I haven't quite figured out a workaround for that yet, but... I think maybe I went to the wrong end of the map. And that's why I can't get through that area yet. Alright, alright. Man, this game is just so pretty. It's starting to make me think of, like, Journey. There we go. And, like, shooting these things is pretty satisfying. Like, it doesn't take any work, but it's very satisfying. 
a little oil and then lotion can help with that. Yeah, I should, I should like commit to start doing it. I'm really bad with like daily self care. <laughs> um, but like I, I went to a dermatologist. Actually, it was just my primary care doctor, but um, uh, they gave me some recommendations for dermatology, um, specifically for like acne, because sometimes I get bad breakouts. And they gave me like four different products that I should use every day. Here we go. All right, we found the area we're supposed to be in. They gave me like these four different products to use, and I use exactly one of them maybe like three times a week instead of every day. I just have a lot of trouble keeping up with it. I don't know, it just, it becomes like suddenly a, a task that you have to have on your mind all the time. Just gotta own the dead climbing hands. That doesn't, yeah, that sounds about right. I summon thee. Ooh. Oh, got a Hydra. Getting into a team with that stuff is so hard. Yeah, I, I really struggle with it. But yeah, my it's funny. My hands don't look too bad right now, but uh, earlier today I went climbing for the first time since Christmas and uh, my hands got so torn up. But I did really well. I, um, I flashed a V2 um, and I, I've never flashed a V2 before. I've only done one other V2, so I was really proud of that. And I I, um, I got a pretty challenging V1 also. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty pleased with myself. Okay, that's, we gotta back it up a little bit. 10 step Korean <laughs> skincare routine, yeah. Uh, don't care if it makes you look amazing, you're not doing 10 steps. Yeah, right? It's like, that's so much work. That's so much work. Easy. Yeah, it, it, it's getting, getting easier. But good lord. Climbing's hard. For anyone who doesn't know, um, the, when I describe a V2, what I, for a little bit more context, there's a scale of like V1 to V10 in difficulty in, in bouldering and climbing. Um, and VB is like the basic, that is the easiest, the absolute easiest beginner first time climbing. No, not my bird again, damn it. Um, and so then there's V1 and then there's V2. So like out of 10, that gives a little bit of context for where it was. It's not like you're not going to be doing it on your first attempt, but it's still beginner levels. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting stronger. I can almost do a pull up. I, I, uh, I struggle. I don't know if anyone does like New Year's resolutions. I have mixed feelings about that. I'm going to go on a ramble now about New Year's resolutions. So I think that having large goals or specific goals for a new year's resolution is like one of the the best ways to like not achieve it right because if you say something really big like i want to do a pull-up oh i'm gonna get spotted oh maybe not if i make my new year's re resolution that i want to do a pull-up and then I like try to work towards it, but I don't really see progress. And then I end up giving up because it was maybe, maybe too high of a goal. Then I feel discouraged and then I give up trying to do it. You know, that's, that's kind of the mindset that I think people get into a lot, especially with fitness and health goals. Um, so I think that my like new year's resolution in terms of fitness should just be like, continue to try to go to the gym twice a week. If I can just try to maintain going to the gym twice a week, I'll eventually achieve those other goals that I kind of have in the bigger picture, right? But because 
losing 10 pounds or because improving my diet isn't on the forefront of my mind constantly, it's much more achievable, right? That's something I've been thinking about lately just because of the new year, you know? I'm like, what do I kind of want? What are the what are the things I want to focus on? And I think I just want to maintain, right? I want to keep going to the gym. I've been doing pretty well at that. I want to keep doing it. And I want to keep eating relatively healthy. <laughs> <laughs> if I can have vegetables with like one or two meals a day, I'm golden. <laughs> um, exactly. They have a 95% fail rate. Same shit with diets and weight goals. Workout progress only comes from incremental routine. Exactly, Arco. Yeah. Yeah. I, I kind of think that diets in general are kind of just uh, a marketing tactic. Um. They had no need of any of our supplies, no want of them. The Godslayers, demented followers, kill for the love of killing. They have forfeited their last of their humanity. Have I watched the CGP Grey's Themes video? I haven't. Yeah, literal scams. A lot of the time, yeah, Arco, for sure. Um, yeah, a lot of times they are literal scams. Uh, pet the eagle. We gotta pet the eagle. Hey, bud. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you got all that evil all over you. Let's just brush that off. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Does that feel better? It's a little better. And this wing. Oh, uh, 10 out of 10. S tier game. Game of the year. Instead of setting goals, you set a theme and then try to make decisions in light of your theme. I love that. Oh, I love that. That sounds exactly what I'm talking about. Like, don't try to make a goal of losing X amount of weight. Instead, set a goal of eat, eat increased amount of vegetables. Try to just, when you have the option, pick the healthier option. If you're getting takeout, instead of getting pizza, maybe get sushi. Sushi is marginally... No, actually, sushi is quite a bit healthier, right? But also, live your life and don't feel the need to set goals for yourself because society has made that the norm. Do, do, what, do what you want. <laughs> There's something I'm missing here. I gotta be able to redirect one of these... Oh, there it is. Alright, so now we have to get the other eye, I assume? But yeah, that's another thing I that I also noticed I've been doing on my stream a lot, is uh, a lot of times I'll like have opinions about my own goals and stuff, but I also want to be like 100% clear that like, whatever goals or ideas I kind of set as my own goals. I never uh, want people to assume that I uh, I think that those are things that everybody should achieve, right? There we go. Alright, alright. So, I guess... We got our first one. I wonder if we need three for the next towers. Where are the next towers, anyways? I see one. That one looks... There's one. There's one. There are one, two, three. Alright, let's make our way towards this one since it is the closest. We'll see if we find any other guys nearby. I'm trying to think of what other games I streamed this year, too. Like, of all the games that I streamed, like... That's one thing I'm super proud of from this year, I think, is just starting streaming. Because I have played so many more games just because I make time for it now, right? Before, it's like, if I was gonna play a game, it felt like I was slacking on other tasks, and now when I dedicate time to streaming, I'm dedicating time to streaming. 
It's like, you know, it's its own... In It's shifted in my brain. Games were always a viable hobby, but it's shifted in my brain where it started to feel productive. And I like that a lot. I like that change in attitude that I've had about games. I've also just been branching out and trying more stuff that I normally wouldn't. I'll play I'll play a game that doesn't have an end until I feel like I've experienced the full game. And then I move on to something else. I don't just stick with it because I'm well it's still fun. It's still a mindless, tedious task that I can do while watching TV. Um which I still do with some games, but I'm much more likely to move on from them now and just get to experience more games because of that because good lord in like high school and college i put more hours into some games than i did courses i was taking in college <laughs> oh god like risk of rain and binding of isaac like i would just that's just all i did all right, I'm really sorry, Bird. You're going to be a little upset in here, but we've got to look around. Same. The um, only numbers-based goal you set for yourself is number of streams. Just force you to try new things and get creative a little more. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Um, I need to get better about not looking at my stream analytics. I think that's something I struggle with. If this was my way to the one true path, then it is my way. Had I known my journey would end as a sacrifice here, I would perhaps have slain uh, fewer men. It was inhum uh, inhumanity, and I wish I did not. It was inhumanity. I wish I did not endure. Bird, it's gonna be okay. I'm so sorry. My hair grows gray. My bones frail. I hereby consecrate myself to the glory of the God Slayer, and that my sacrifice might be. Uh, might bring his power even higher. Within these halls, we worship the God Slayer, who would topple the tall ones. We demonstrate our gratitude here until our dying day or the end of this realm. Oh, right, I can't jump or anything. Um, but yeah, like, I try not to, but after every stream, I'll always go and, like, check the analytics and be like, oh, like, just try to see if I can learn anything from it. But I'm never, ever learning anything productive to my own, like, I don't know, to myself. Uh, like, I should probably just, like, close all those, like, the viewers and, and all that, just, like, not ever look at it, I think. But I just never commit to actually doing that. I just always leave it on. Oh, I thought I would make it. Yeah, you're not focused on growth right now. You're just getting comfortable with who you are on camera and the vibe of your community. Yeah, yeah, totally. And that's like same for me. Like I have no goals of growth for, for my stream. I only stream because I think it's fun. So like, yeah, exactly. Analytics aren't useful to me, but then I, I go and, like, hyper fixate on it for no good reason. So it's something I've been trying to be a little bit more mindful of. Maybe that's... No! Fuck! Oh, wait. God damn it. There's a there's an elevator. There was an elevator the whole time! It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's gonna be okay. sad per se um yeah the analytics don't make me sad it's more oh there we go it's more that i i look at it and i think how can i improve like my my brain very quickly will adapt any hobby that i have and try to turn it into a business like <laughs> i don't know why but i have that instinct um when I was in high school, 
I started learning how to sew and almost immediately I started going to cons and I was renting tables in Artist Alley, uh, Artist Alleys at conventions. Um, crap. Uh, and I did that for about 10 years. Um, and I did it full time for about two years after I graduated college. And it was a great experience for sure. But I also did it so much and, and because I like pushed my hobby that I was learning into becoming a career, I, um, I never sew anymore. I, I completely stopped. Um, I just like one day I just quit. I got a, got a retail job and I never went back to sewing. And like my sewing machine is staring at me in my closet right now and I just like have absolutely zero desire to ever pick it up again. And that's just kind of sad. I don't know. If I had just kept it a, a better balance from the start, I would have enjoyed it. And that's something I worry about happening with games. I don't want to make games a career-driven hobby, and then I no longer enjoy games because they feel like work. It was a long ramble, but I think I summarized my point quite well. Or well enough. Oh, what? interest change totally get, yeah it's there's no exact science to it either i'm not totally understanding this area maybe i'll come back to it no there's definitely a way to solve this Bird, it's gonna be okay. I just need you to trust me. Nope. Okay. Oh. I could also just, like, totally be reading into my own actions way too much. <laughs> no, damn. I keep missing the platform. Alright, I'm gonna try one more time to get up there and if I don't have luck I'll try a different spot because I just need to get up here like man it would be so easy if I just had my bird powers but my bird is stressed okay so let's look in here again all right I don't see anything else in here analyzing yourself is tough it's worth it since since, uh, since that's how we grow and improve. I totally agree. <laughs> how many journals have I started trying just that? Yeah. Uh, my uh, yeah my my thinking or or the thing that I circle back to a lot is like therapy is good. Therapy is, uh, recommended for everybody. I think, I firmly believe that everybody can take something positive away from therapy, no matter, like, what, even if you think that you're, like, in the best mental health that you've ever been, you can always learn something from therapy. Huh. Okay, this, this area I don't totally get yet. So I am going to look around some more. My bird is relaxed. Not that relaxed. How are you so... How did you get so upset? Man, being in that area, like, really just stressed him out. There we go. There you go. Good boy. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, it's so cute. Where are we going? Where are we going? Yeah, right? S tier game. Game of the year. Cute bird. That's how you know. Where the hell are we? in here. Beyond these trails lie the mask of the ancients. The path there holds much peril. Only the worthy will reach their destiny. Sounds like a challenge. I knew my path might end here, but I wish the Pathfinder had put more effort into solving the puzzle. I would have liked to witness the moment he glimpsed the one true path. I would have liked to be there. Everything for one true path. If the Pathfinder requires my body as his vessel, so be it. I will be stepping stone on his journey to find the one true path. Interesting. What's going on here? The spirit mask is not to be worn by those who force their way forward. The trail the tall ones know their due know their due time. Those who would see them must know the same. I could almost taste it. The mask would illuminate the one true path. Mere steps away. How could I wait? The road to discover the one true path is treacherous. I knew that. Even still, I wish the Pathfinder had not forced us to trigger these traps. Our sacrifice might have been better spent. Dang. Alright. Oh boy. All right, we got a puzzle here. Okay, so I think the the shortest pillars were the deer. The long ones were this guy. And then the longest ones were that one. Oh shit, there's there's these. Okay, hold on. So this should be the deer. Deer dragon. And Hydra. Alright, that was shockingly easy. What is this, a Skyrim dungeon? We did all you ask. We left our homes. We sacrificed. And now this. Why? Why, Pathfinder? Achievement unlocked. Echoes of the past. Oh! This will excite some people in chat, maybe? Maybe? I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if people in chat are a fan. But I picked up Echoes of the Eye during the Steam sale. So I'm going to be playing that soon, getting back into some Outer Wilds. I've never heard such a keening cry. The Great Pathfinder brought low, blowing, um, brought low, blowing, where is the path, where is the path, will haunt me, will forever haunt me. Our kind leader is struck mad. I, man, I'm, I'm tr stepping all over my tongue tonight.
All right, so we've got two Hydra badges. Let's try to bring these to the tower now and just see if we have enough. Up we go. Gosh, what a pretty game. Oh, we only need two. Perfect. All right. One down. I see Pathfinder's forces entering the Mask Shrine. I wonder if they know the deadly dangers within. Many have entered that building, but few ever leave. We already did it! Ha ha! What is that over there? We could make our way over to that tower. Where there's a tower, there will be sigils. And then we can go, like, around. So I guess we'll go this way first. This is satisfying. So there's that one again. That's probably the one we're going to have to figure out first. There could be one up there. I want to I want to go up here. I know we don't have the sigils for it, but I just want to look around. One thing I wonder also is whenever you see those like red fogs, is that more more things? Wasn't always super clear about it. So I, th I think that means that there is one here, right? around and see if we can get that fire to hit anything. Anything useful. What's this? Can I? Oh, you know what? I bet I can light this bottom one from this direction. Oh, I sure can. All right, now we just have to hold this down. And that'll light them all. Now, now what? Is that it? Is... 
Is that it? Maybe this wasn't, uh... Not one of the sigils, just like a little bonusy area. I know I saw another red. Oh, uh, now I'm just now now I don't know which direction it was in, but I know I saw a second one in this direction. Maybe there isn't one down here. At least not super obviously. This is new. I haven't been here before. Alright, we got something we can light. The bird's not freaking out, so that's good. We cannot go in there. We do have some fire on this side, though. Did we? Oh, there it is. I was like, there must be. I saw it. Nice. Okay. I think we just, like, raised a platform up. Let's do the next one. There it goes. Go up again. Oh, I think we have to light this one too. There we go. Got it! Hell yeah! There's something down there, perhaps? Let's go for this. See what we can figure out. Oh, I see something we can stand on. I see something we can pick up. Bird, go! Yeah, you got this bird. We're gonna take the stairs, though. I know that your pathfinding will do better. Alright, it's another just little bonus area. We could try to move. Oh, there's something up there. Let's let's go up there next. And I think we're like I I know we're more than halfway through the game, but per the how long to beat, we're about halfway through. I feel like we're way more than halfway through, but... 
I'll probably stop soon. What time is it? Almost 11. Alright, what's going on up here? lock onto it, so I might have to light it. Oh. Three. of elimination if we get all the everything that shows up red will eventually find all the sigils right should i have i saved manual save we haven't done this at ever cool save the game I can definitely see myself wanting to go back and, like, find all the little secret areas and stuff at some point. And something else a little bit more minor about this game that works really well in terms of its feel. Um is that the... Oh yeah, that felt good. Um, the movement doesn't ever feel like... I don't know. Um, it never feels too slow because anytime you hit one of these, you get that like little burst, right? So it feels, like, forever very satisfying, if that makes sense. So even if, like, it becomes very routine, it doesn't get boring. There, there we go. That's what I want. Thank you. More bird points. Alright, where do we go next, though? Maybe I should go into the eye of the storm just to get the guy to move. Oh, there's some stuff like way over there. There's that... I think that's one of those dark towers, but it might be time that we go to the dark tower. We haven't found anything super useful in a while. I 
there's something here. I don't know if it's super useful, but there's something here. And I want to solve it. Oh, cool. I think that was just a lucky shot. Yeah, another lantern. Which direction? I was definitely going this way, huh? Yeah, let's go to the big tower. Which one are we gonna go to first? Oh my god, there's so many of them. Alright, let's just go to this big one. to get up. Oh, this looks new. Ooh, let's do this one. Alright, we're gonna do this one next. something down there. I'm not sure what. Ah, I see. It's another puzzle. So we've got the Hydra. I think that's... Or is that the lizard? That's the lizard. That's the Hydra. And that is probably the deer. So, let's just make this one the, uh, Hydra. Lizard. That one I don't see, so we'll do that one last. And this one I think think is the deer. Oh. It's not the deer. What is that shape? We're gonna go over there. Find out. That one's got a whole bunch of hands. That looks like a scorpion. Ooh. Whoopsie daisies. Alright, we're out of jumps. Oh, damn it. Whoopsie daisies. It's not that one. It is that one pretty sure. So then the last one that we need is this one, I think? I think it was this one that we didn't see. So I think if the rest of them are correct, we should just be able to hit this one enough times until it goes. Yeah, there we go. Gotta love that process of elimination, huh? What? Oh, shit! It's a timer! Oh! 
Uh. Shit. I'm not going to make it. Damn it. Oh, I want to try that again. Now that I totally get how it works, I'll be faster. Oh, I think they all light up at the same time. And that was just the one that I went to in that particular order. Yeah, I got him. Nice. Cute little puzzle. I didn't expect to see that in this game. I like the little optional stuff like that. I don't like when that kind of stuff is required. I'm looking at you, Spyro. But, um... Which I guess is not totally required for Spyro, but... It feels like it is sometimes, those time challenges. two of these. I can just go open a tower. Oh, now I feel slow. Bird, carry me. Have I gone in here? Oh, I'm so close to getting another jump. Oh, thank you. Let's see, where's the next big tower? That's the closest one, unfortunately. But there's the next one that we actually have to get things for. So we'll go, go over here and try to get this sigil. And we'll unlock that tower, and then we'll probably save for today. It's probably the plan. So, yeah, I don't know. Still got another 20 minutes. I'm tempted to just switch to Stardew also. <laughs> Have we been through here? I think we have. Wait, am I going the right way? Oh, it moved. What the heck? Yeah, I have been through here. That was weird. It totally moved. It was... Because we were at that tower and it was... The... The guy was definitely... To our side. To our right. And so that's why we went left. I bet it goes on a timer. Like, it'll just expire. Do what you want to do? Yeah. 
just don't want to stay up too late. Although, here's the thing. I'm going to play Stardew after stream regardless. So the question is if it's just going to be on stream or not. <laughs> Is this the same? One thing I haven't totally figured out, I don't think that we're in the same map area. It's It gets a little bit hard to parse if we're in a new, like, realm or biome. Um, like, this all, I think, is new, but... I wish that the biomes were a little bit more drastically different, I think, just to help keep it feeling different. Like if one area it was fall and another area it was winter, that would actually, I think, go a long way. All right, let's see if we can figure this out. Oh, this is cool. All right, they're letting us know in advance this is not a sigil. They're like, you can work as hard as you want here, but do not get mad. They're all short one. What does this do? Oh. No. What does this move? I don't see what that does yet. Oh, we got fire in here, too. This is a, a like a mega combo puzzle. Okay, so we'll get the fire out eventually. But that is not step one. What is step one? What does this do? That's important. Hey bird, do you see any like weights that you can pick up or That's a weight in there. Okay. Oh, my brain might be too fried for this. 
Is there any direction that this can open? just hold this. Alright, cool. Step one. We did it. We did step one. Step one complete. Heck yeah. Okay, okay. So we did that. If I were a game designer, I would make step two come right after step one. What's this do? Alright, we got a door open. Oh, and the bird can move this. After one. Yeah, it makes sense, right? Like, I, that's how I would do it. Like, I don't want to tell them how to do their jobs, but that is the order that I would put them in. Uh. Bird. Line them up. Line them up. Very good. Step two. Completed. Come, bird. Bring it. Where are we going to put it? Let's put it here. We no, all right, too high up, too high up. All right, this one's gonna go over here. Yeah, too much sense, too much sense, right? We can't make it easy for the gamers to figure out. Where's the fun? No, no, pick it up, pick it up! No, why did you leave it there? You silly! You put it up here! Come on, bird. I swear, this bird can't fly up. There you go. Good job, buddy. Alright, I still don't know what these- Oh! Oh, oh it raised that platform. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. That's still two. But now we can do this lower one. No, I want this. Thank you. I want to be able to run a little. Wrong way. Let's do it again, but in the correct direction. Boom. Sick. I really like this game. I I am actually like really enjoying it. The puzzles are fun, they're not too challenging. Everything like clicks pretty well. Uh cool. So now we've got the fire and now we can just trail the fire along. Also, like, this area is definitely the most complicated, I guess? 
this is the most challenging of the puzzles. But it feels very, like... I know it's optional. I know it's totally optional. How do I get this bit? Oh, wow, that went all the way over there. Okay. Oh, so close. Got one. And then this one we can probably get from here. Yeah. There we go. So now we got our last bird piece. There you go. But yeah, everything just really works quite well um the controls don't feel clunky everything like is running pretty smoothly most of the time i'm able to do what i'm trying to do on the first or second try even for stuff like that um and i got an achievement for that called bathhouse oh oh i just i went through the ceiling Additional, additional time in the air. Nice. I like that it let me know in advance what I was getting for for that, for all that work that I just did. It didn't like tease me or anything. It wasn't like, ooh, you might get what you need to progress, but you might not. It was like, you will not get what you need to progress, but you will get an extra jump. If that matters to you, please continue. Also, I don't know, maybe I'm, like, singing the game's praises too much, but also... I think I'm very critical of games a lot of the time. I'm always kind of looking out for things that I can dig into a little bit, or... think of things that I think should be improved on. And it's nice when I can just, like... just, just enjoy everything that I've experienced. good to be critical and also to enjoy things. Yeah, exactly, right? It's very easy to get caught up in your own, like, in your own head. And just hyper-analyze stuff. Let's see. We've got one more tower that we have to go to. Isn't that the bathhouse that we just that we just came from? I'm just confused as to why it's still lighting up red. Unless there's more there that I missed. There's a a gem that I haven't gotten yet. Oh, there's another one that I haven't gotten yet. This one's closer. We only need two more sigils also. All right, so we need three weights, or at least two weights. Oh, there's one that they just gave us. 
Oh. If I don't fuck up. Oh, good bird. Did a good job. And now we got some fire. We know what to do with the fire. Maybe. Oh, maybe we were supposed to put this here first. Maybe I jumped the gun. Ah, we did. All right, bird. I need you to retrieve that which, which we just acquired. It off for a second. I thought I saw another torch. There's one over there. All right, maybe this does still have to be up. We'll put it back. No biggie. It's nice that these torches stay lit even in the rain. Ah, and now we have all the pieces we need. time he's missed. a torch under there. There he is. Whew. Must have gotten stuck on something. There we go. Here is a good place to stop for tonight. It's getting pretty late. Uh, and I do want to save enough of this game that the next time I play it, I'll have a good chunk of it left to play. I don't want to... I That's one of like my least favorite things is when I play a game for like four or five hours, but it's only a five or six hour game. And then the next time you start it up, it's basically over. So I think here is a really good place to save. Um... Uh, I will overwrite slot one. Slot one has been saved. Excellent. Thank y'all for hanging out. Dave and Danny, thank you for the raids. Really, really appreciate it. Um, New Birdlandia, thank you for that follow. No, Allie. Okay, Allie. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause. Pause the end stream 
Mumbo Jumbo. Uh, Allie, I want to show you this game. This is too important. Um, because I am loving it. <laughs> I'm like four hours in and I'm, I, I want to stop because I don't want to like go through the game too quickly. You know, I want to have another stream of it. I don't want to do it all in one shot. Um, yeah, I'm, I am loving it. Um, like the movement is so pretty. Like it feels really nice. I've got this bird that carries me around and is just super cute. Uh, this is the best part though, is if I press the square button, this is my bird. I love him. And we can let him know that we love him by giving him these nice pets. What a good bird. Look at this. Oh, who's a good bird? You're a good bird. Look at him. I love him so much. Yeah. Aww. He's so sweet. Um. But yeah, it's like, the game just plays really, really well. It's got some good puzzles in it, but they're not like too hard, you know? Um. I want to get to an area that's not like raining. Uh, but the story so far is basically Breath of the Wild if it didn't have any of the side stuff. If you were just going around and defeating the Divine Beasts. That's basically what this game is. Um, what do we got here? Oh, we got some, we got some more bird gems. Let's see. But yeah, basically... Oh, this is moving. Oh, this is this is gonna be something else. Alright. So this is one of the... I'm gonna call them divine beasts. Um, my poor bird can't survive in this area. So this is the hydra that we're currently getting ready to fight. But... We're in a, a bad spot. That was a really bad spawn. <laughs> usually, usually you don't get bodied like that right away. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bird. All right, let's clean you up. I'm very sorry that happened to you. Um, you have to get little sigils that are usually behind a very simple puzzle. Uh, and then once you get six of them, you can activate three different towers. And then once all the towers, once all the beacons are lit, um, once the beacons are lit, then you can fight the, the current divine beast. And there's three of them, three or four. Uh, and then there's the main guy, the Ganon um, that you fight at the end, the final boss. But everything just, like, works very well together. And it's open world, um, whenever you defeat a divine beast, that's just what I'm gonna call them now, um, you, uh, unlock a new area and then you've got whole different, different worlds that you can explore. But, like, there's a tower that I've already been to, there's one that I haven't been to, and then in the middle, there's a sigil that I haven't gotten yet. So we're gonna go there and try to get that sigil. But yeah, the movement just feels super fluid. Um... I can't say much for the writing. There hasn't been very much of it. But they've gotten the point across very well. I understand what's going on. The best part is clearly the bird. Like, no question. Game of the year. Oh, 
All right, so this area I haven't totally figured out yet because the bird can't stand it. The bird freaks out and I can't use my, my jump ability because the bird is, is stressed. Um, which, I mean, same. I will also refuse to do things when I'm stressed. However, oh, whoops. I can't quite work out how I'm supposed to get out. <laughs> bird is life. We love bird. Yes, exactly. We're all on the same page here. So how do I get up here? That's what I don't get. I use my super sense. My super sense says bird is stressed. Um, oh, there's something up there, but I don't know if I can get over there either. You refuse to do things when you're not stressed. <laughs> I, I'm relaxed now. You can't make me do anything. I guess I, I guess I understand that too. Uh, oh, maybe I have to, like... Go around a little bit? Like, I can't go straight there from here, so maybe I have to... Go this way. Let's go back to where we started. Bird, it's gonna, it's gonna be alright. You don't have to participate, but you're not helping. So if I go this way, can I reach? No. What if I just go here? Can I just jump up from here? Ah, I can. Perfect. Okay. I want to get up to this back corner. Oh. Let's see, let's see. Oh, I can still hold the shift. What am I doing? I forgot that I have, I have run. Oh, but I don't have clumsiness. So there's something on top of there, but I haven't quite figured out how to get up there yet. How long is this game? How long to beat says about six hours. I have a feeling, oh, uh, I have a feeling I'm further along than that. Like, I think I only have maybe, oh, maybe two hours of content left. Makes sense. Um. But yeah, I don't think it's super long. But that's why I was gonna stop earlier, so I was like, I don't wanna plow through all the content, I wanna make sure I have enough left for the next time I stream it. But I'm just kind of brainstorming right now, rather than actively trying to solve the thing. Oh, no, god damn it. If I hold down shift, I can jump farther, but I don't have any control over where I land. read this. Maybe that would help. What does this say? Within these halls we worship the God Slayer. Yep. Yep. I remember that. like a good step one. Like, I feel like I'm supposed to go here. And then from here... Oh, no, 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 damn it. I slid. 
The game's so short. It's, yeah, I, I know. Indie games, man. They always leave you wanting more, unless they're spirit fair. Okay. Alright, so we're back here. And I saw something on top. But I cannot for the life of me figure out how to get up there. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Maybe I am just supposed to go over here. like there's these two to help me out. I tried looking in there and there was just like nothing to do. Yeah, it's really pretty. They have the art style down. Shit. Oh, fuck. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. That felt very uncontrolled, though. I bet that's it, though. I bet that's it. Oh, crap. So close, so close. Let's try again. Oh, crap. There hasn't been, like, too much platforming in this game, which is why I'm like, hmm, I don't think that's it. I want to look in here again. so close. Let's try one more time. <clears throat> try one more time. We got this. We got this. Two more times. Try two more times. I was so close. I actually landed on it that one. Oh. Oh. That makes me think that like it is absolutely possible and it's the solution. It's so hard to not jump twice. That's the problem. Okay. Um, might not be able to work this one out right now, but I think this will be a good one to circle back to uh, the next time I stream. So I'm going to go ahead and save again. We are going... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. So I guess I am less than halfway through the game because I still have three more guys, right? Because I've got the, the deer, and then I've got the lizard. Now next we'll have the hydra. I haven't beaten the hydra yet, so... And then I guess there'll be one more, and then the final boss? Maybe? Something like that? Either way, I will say, thank you everybody for hanging out. If you stick around for the raid, you'll get bonus channel points, which you can use uh, to make me play Getting Over It, potentially other games in the future. And we're also going to add a new... Um, uh, a new stream redemption soon. Channel point redemption next time we stream of bird facts. So keep an eye out for that. I'll let you know. 
Um, yeah, of course, Allie, of course. I really wanted you to see it too. So um, I was glad you were really, I was really glad that you were able to stop by. I hope that you had a nice dinner and, um, and, and all of that. But Arco, Danny, nice to see you guys. Pyro, thank you for hanging out. Um, and then Danny and Dave, thanks again for those raids. Yeah, I love it, Allie. This is so, I re this is like just what I needed. And I'm so glad that I got another game in before the end of the year. Because next stream, I'm probably going to do a little bit of just chatting, going through a list of all the games that I played. Um, and uh just just talking about all the different games now that it had been like a couple months later and stuff so i think that'll be fun all right cool nice to see everybody everyone else who stopped in let's take a look at who is online i know it's late i don't know how many people are online but let's see 